let's just jump into it. This is the Galaxy Note 4 stock ROM and I'm going to go to have a walk through through the whole device just to show you guys everything. Now this is the UI. I'm going to start with YouTube. You can see that you can it can do the normal basic things like watching YouTube and uh, browsing media and all that stuff. Everything works properly without any issues. This is a YouTube currently playing a YouTube video of Asphalt. I wanted to increase I want to increase the 1080 the quality to 1080p60 so that you can see. Uh, there there's still a bit of loading since you know it's I, I believe it's running a, a, a updated software for, on a old chip so it's, it's meant to struggle a bit here and there but for the most part it can do the trick this is not Asphalt 9 actually running if it was running like that that would be cool but it's a YouTube video so With maps, you could see that the loading time, it, it takes a very long time to load and even when you're moving through the UI and zooming in and out, it is, uh, it's slow, it, it struggles a bit, it has to move through things slowly by slowly and you have to, if you want to, if you keep zooming in and out constantly, it might not work very well because it's, again, it's a very old CPU so it's bound to struggle here and there and then we went to Google News just refused to load completely so I just abandoned it and went on to the next thing it didn't do much for me now I wanted to go through the S Pen features also and uh, the, the S Pen features this is one of my most fun things I think to use with this uh, the phone and they work very well. Air Command really works. All these features which are still there work. As long as you still have the S Pen and uh, can still activate it. Whenever you pull out the S Pen, uh, pull, pull, pull it out, the Air Command automatically comes up and you can use those uh, basic features which are... And those are basically just uh, shortcuts to apps, I believe. Apart from... Uh, Apart from screen right, that one seems to be very unique. That I've not yet got a app for, I've not yet seen an app for it inside, but the rest are just like S notes. Uh, all, all the, 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 but it's it's cool. It's cool to use. It's just fun. Something very interesting, especially if you want to use it for. If you th there's this app I found on this old room called Pen App. It is really fun since you can go and get pictures and just keep shading, spend a lot of time just shading images that you just want to save. So it can be fun. Okay, now the fun part is uh, setting up the fingerprint now setting up the fingerprint if you have ever used any fingerprint scanner which is not this one it, it, it's not how it works uh, with, with with the phone if, with the original ROM even with the custom ROMs I've used it, you need to swipe your finger not really tap so when you're setting it up you have to swipe either sideways or or straight up like finger up from up to down or left to right but it has to go up and down the the what the scanner to register it and also unlocking you do the same though unlocking can be a bit tricky because when you're unlocking the phone it wants you to be a bit perfect you have to put, make sure the finger is in the middle it doesn't half swipe it doesn't swipe sideways it has to just be perfect to unlock your phone otherwise just uh, don't use it I, it just disturbs a lot sometimes but if you have the time because it's it requires a bit of patience if you have the time and you have the patience to endure yes you can enjoy using this the fingerprint scanner you have to set up a password and everything just to make sure that to make sure that uh, if it jumps you can still if you fail or something happens to the reader, you can still unlock your phone another time, which is pretty standard. So, yeah, 
that one works very well with its issues. Yeah, honestly, it's really hard to use. You have to, you have to just press it just right in order to unlock your phone. So, if possible, you can just skip it. <laughs> but it still works. So yes, it still works, which is a good thing. But it just wants you to be a bit very perfect. Okay, the steps, I just wanted to throw this in there because I liked the UI of, of counting steps when you're walking, so there it is. It, it, it is fun to look at when you're just moving around. And now the heart rate monitor. Now, this one is a bit weird. You also putting your finger, you're placing your finger behind can be, can disturb a bit, but once you get it right, it can still work, uh, hoping the the hardware is not damaged in any way. It can still work, but still the measurement I I wouldn't trust the measurement because I don't know I've never really measured my heart rate in a good setting. But still, since the hardware is a bit old, I don't know how accurate it can be. And then coming to the gaming part now the the. Gaming, I only tried two games, which were Asphalt 8 and PUBG, which I'll get to PUBG later. But Asphalt 8, it runs very well. My battery, the battery of the phone is not so good. I got another battery, but still it was not, it was also not working very well. So I probably got scammed or something, but anyway, no problem. The, the battery only lasts about like an hour or so. But maybe it's just the phone's, uh, the whole phone package, which is a bit old. But still, the, if, once you have enough battery, you can still do some gaming, which is, which is what, which is not so bad. Uh, you can also decide to game as you're connected to the power, which is not very advisable. But I mean, if you really want to, anyway. But it works. Asphalt Eight works really well without any issues that one i did not face any issues completely it was working well and given that it also works uh offline for some of the parts it, it is it, it, it can be really fun it can be a good option for a, for a racing game anyway if you're into that
Okay, now for PUBG, I didn't really get to do a lot with this since uh, it, it was, uh, I think it was my battery which gave me issues because it was, it was draining fast. And I don't know whether you can see, but uh, some of the buildings are not rendered. They are still loading, so that's one of the other issues. <laughs> Uh, you, you may reach somewhere where when there's a bridge and then there's nothing the, the building is not seen it's still in its uh, it's it's still in its uh, formation so uh, it, is, it is not a really nice uh, the, the processing is not really Anyway, that's about it. I just wanted to go through those small, small things. Next time, we're just going to start breaking the device and installing ROMs and routing, bootloader things, and yeah, and install the ROM until. So I, I think I'm just going to install only one ROM on this device and put it aside and start the start other devices also.